Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope everything's going fabulous. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Well, we're going to create a card using some new items from Simon Says Stamp. This is part of their Kisses release. We are using the Nested Rounded, Nested Round Hearts. I have a heart set, but um, not one that, that's rounded like this. I thought this was pretty cute. There is three, there's seven dies in here that create um, hearts that will fit horizontally or vertically on your card projects, which makes it really nice. We'll be using this in our card today along with a new stamp set. This is called Swoopy Flowers, and I love how pretty and unique these flowers are. Um, I'm going to color these in with my Copic markers today, but I'm going to do simple coloring just using... Um, since we have a lot of wavy lines, I thought one color for each wavy line would be really pretty on my project. So we'll use this. And then for my background, there's a new background stamp called Lace Heart Kaleidoscope. We're going to be using this for our background. This is such a pretty background stamp. Let's jump in. And first, we will create our backgrounds. And I'm going to heat emboss with white embossing powder. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of ink blending on our stamp today. So let's grab the stamping positioner. Okay, I'm going to treat my paper with my anti-static powder tool. And then I'm going to use my Versamark ink pad and go over my background. And actually, you know what? Usually I, I like to use my Versamark ink, but I think I'm going to use my Hero Hues um, Unicorn ink. This is a white pigment ink. And when, embossing with white pigment ink is nice because you can actually see where you're inking up. Oh, that looks really pretty. That looks really pretty. And then I'm going to stamp this. I'm going to stamp it one more time, but I'm going to use white embossing powder, so even though you're not going to be able to see the white pigment, I can see it on my red rubber stamp. Wonderful. I'm going to go over my image with my white embossing powder. Wow, this is such a pretty pattern. Okay. I'm going to use my heat gun and we'll melt this embossing powder. My background panel is now embossed with white embossing powder. I'm going to bring in my craft mat here and we're going to do a little bit of ink blending. I have four different colors of ink. I have Salvage Patina, Peacock Feather, Squeeze Lemonade, and car Carved Pumpkin. And I'm trying to go in order. <clears throat> and I think this is the order that I want to ink blend. So we're going to go with our carved pumpkin first and I'm just going to be using my blending tools here. And then I'm going to go in with my squeezed lemonade. And then I'm going to go in with salvage patina. And then I'm going to go in with Peacock Feathers. And actually, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my panel around and I'm going to do the same thing on the reverse side. I don't want to, I don't want to blend the salvage patina in with my, my squeeze lemonade too much because I don't want green in here. For the most part, I just want 
the orange, the yellow, and the salvage patina. And I'm going to take my peacock feathers and go right down the middle. And I think that's going to work out beautifully. Okay, I'm going to put my inks off to the side. And then I'm going to use a towel and I'm going to buff away the excess ink that is on my background here. So my background panel is done. Now I'm going to bring back my stamping positioner and we're going to do our stamping. We're going to stamp our flowers here. So let's take our swoopy flowers. And I'm going to take the extra. Um, no extra flower here. I'm going to take the extra um, buds and then the extra leaf too. And we'll stamp this. I'm going to stamp my images with my memento ink. Now I'm going to color in my images I mentioned with my Copic markers. These are the colors that I'm going to be using, just these. For the leaves, I'm going to be using my BGs. And then for the flower, I'm going to be using um, yellow and oranges. Okay, so for my leaves, I mentioned we're going to do something. I'm going to start with my lightest BG. This is BG11. I'm going to play a little bit of music while I color, and then when I'm done coloring, I will, I will catch you back. all done. After my coloring is done, I'm going to go ahead and there is a coordinating die set, I'm pretty sure, um, and I'll link it down below, but I'm just going to fussy cut my images out. And while I'm fussy cutting too, I'm going to go ahead and take one of my hearts. I'm going to take the second from the largest. And I'm going to cut out a window. On my panel here. 
So my images are fussy cut out, and then I did cut out a window in my panel. I went ahead and put foam tape behind here, and I also die cut out a heart. I thought putting a heart um, with my sentiment on it would be a lot easier than trying to um, stamp it directly on my card base. So let's go ahead and remove the release paper and put this on the standard A2 size card base. And this is a card front panel, so it's going to fit this beautifully. Wonderful. And then for my sentiment, we are going to stamp You Are Beautiful Inside and Out. I think that's just lovely. I'm going to ink it up with my VersaFine ink, and we'll stamp this to the left. And then I'll take the second part of my sentiment. This is our beautiful inside and out. Lovely. Okay. So we have our sentiment done. I'm going to go ahead and take some adhesive. I'm going to use my glue. And we're just going to add some glue on the inside of our window. And then we can place this heart on the inside, like so. For our florals, I'm going to add it, and for, uh, oops, I think that looks really pretty. And then lastly, I'm going to add some Nouveau Crystal Drops to the center of my flower here, and then also a few around. Um, I'm going to just add maybe five. It'll be a good number. <clears throat> and then that will finish off my card today using a few new items from the Simon's Stamp Kisses release. I hope you enjoyed my project. I thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day. 